Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another Tuesday with Teddy. Um, today we're going to do something pretty simple. Uh, it's very similar to a potato pancake. Um, it's called a marquee potato. It's just a shredded potato patty, basically. Um, but it's really good. It's really pretty simple to make. What I did was I boiled two large potatoes. They were big, so I cut them in half. Boiled them until they were soft enough, then cooled them down enough so I can shred them. I'm just going to shred them on the wide side of a box grater. Only takes a minute. As you can see, that one is the one that has already been shredded. Now, the good thing about this kind of recipe is you can improvise pretty much anything you want. You can add any kind of flavor you want to it. You can even stuff them if you wanted to with like ground beef or something like that. What I like to do, I didn't do it this time, but what I like to do is add bacon. Anybody who knows me knows I like bacon and everything. But what we're going to add is just a little chopped red pepper, bell pepper, some onion, just some yellow onion, about a tablespoon or so of chopped parsley, Italian flat parsley, about a cup of shredded cheese, an egg that someone stole from there. Somebody hid my egg from me. Yeah, How like dare you? Egg. How dare you hide things directly in front of my face? <laughs> I hate when you do that. Okay, we're going to add that. We're going to have a salt and pepper it. pepper and then we're just going to mix it up. I bet there's not a spoon today. Look at that. It's a miracle. Let me get it all incorporated well. Now there's so many different ways like I said that you can do this. You can kind of make them um, spicier. You could fill them with, with salsa. There's so many different things you can put in the middle of the chopped chicken. You could make like um, put ham and cheese in it, kind of make it like a, a, a cordon bleu potato. It should actually sound pretty good. Cordon bleu. Maybe put um even you could also bread these if you wanted to, and then deep fry them. But we're not going to do that because we're trying to eliminate some calories. And really, what we're going to do is we're just going to put them in a pan and brown them. And then we're going to brown them off and then we're just going to finish them off in the oven. That way they don't soak in the grease in the frying pan. Okay, so in a minute we're going to show you how we fry them off. Okay, so we're going to make our patties. Now we've got a couple made. I'm just going to throw one more together. Now, sometimes when you make this recipe, when you go to make the patties, you'll find it's very starchy, very sticky. If it is that way, you can add yourself. I had to add about a tablespoon or so of um, flour to mix in to make it more, uh, less sticky, not more sticky. So then I'm just going to drop in a frying pan that's red hot. And we're just going to brown them off on both sides. Okay, as you can see, they're nice and brown. I'm going to turn my heat off right here. Just pull them out. Get a nice color to them. And now, that way they don't sit in the oil all that time. We're going to chop them right in the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes and they'll be ready to go. What temperature? Always at 350 unless otherwise stated. Oh, thank you. Thank Chef you. Ted. Okay guys, so we're going to pull them out. See how they look. I like them with sour cream myself, but depending on what you put it in, it would depend upon maybe what you want to stuff them, what you want to dip them in. You might want to put salsa. Even guacamole would be good. Um, makes a nice side dish. Or if you want to make a mini sized one, you can make like a snack or an appetizer. Um, if you like it, let us know. Give us a like, give us a share. We love your comments, we love to hear stuff. Oh, and I got to give a shout to my friend Dave in Korea. I'm sorry, Dave, I did not wear a cowboy shirt for you this week. I will remedy that next week for certain. You guys have a great week. Have a good one.